bush truck. <coughs> Hi, okay, so guys, my name is uh, Beata Bianca. Let's talk. Uh, so today we are in Livingstone at uh, Bush Truck, and uh, I'm accompanied by Mr. Crispin, who works here. Um, are you able to get us? Okay, so Mr. Crispin is going to take us through and show us just brief of what Bush Truck has. So whoever comes to visit Livingstone, make sure that you make a stop at Bush Track. And once you make a stop at Bush Track in Livingstone, just the main road, what road is that? Mosotunya National. Mosotunya National. Mosotunya hmm? Road. Mosotunya Road. Yeah. And then you just make a turn, it's just a few meters. Then Bush Track is right there. Then you just come through. There are a lot of activities. So Mr. Crispin, what activities are there at Bush Track? Thank you very much. You're welcome to Bush Tracks Africa. Okay. We do a variety of activities in here. Okay. We do game drives. Game drives. We have uh, some few animals in our national park. That okay. is Musotunya National Park. Ah. Though we don't have the big five. Okay. But these other few animals, and the latest one is uh -huh. uh, right, uh, white rhinos. White? I've never seen a white rhino. We have the white rhinos, yes. Okay. Of course, we have plenty of them there. Uh -huh. Also, we have uh, we do activities like Livingston Tour. Okay. And uh, also, we do Livingston Museum. Uh -huh. We do Livingstone uh, Royal Museum. Uh -huh. We have also Mukuni Big Five. Oh. We do also Mukuni Village and also Livingstone, uh, I mean Maramba Market is Maramba part Market. of our activity. Uh -huh. Yes, also the furthest point that we normally go to is Botswana. For those who would like to go to Botswana and do the ch Chobe uh -huh. to see, well, that's where we have the Big Five animals there. Those are found in the world. In the world. Yes. Then on top of that, we have our beautiful steam train. Let's check the train out. <laughs> so we can go with, we can come along with uh -huh. me. So in this train, yeah. we call it the uh, Royal Livingston Express. Uh -huh. It's a dinner train. So people jump in here, then they have their dinner and everything. Exactly. So initially, what we normally do, uh -huh. this is our boarding point. Ooh. So whenever we have the the train run. This is where we normally board from. But I will explain a little bit to you. Mm -hmm. So before COVID, what we normally, or we used to do was... While we are talking, can we also be going in the train? Yes, While please. we are speaking? So as before COVID... Can I go? Used, yes, you can. Uh -huh. Before COVID? Before COVID, we used to run three times in a week. Uh -huh. We used to run every Mondays, okay. Wednesdays, okay. And, sat uh, and Saturday. Okay. Yes, please, we can go there. We go this way? Yes. So every Mondays, we used to go to the western direction of our town. Uh -huh. That is along Mosotunya National Park. Ah. There, there's a point where we normally turn. So when we turn, Look at we that. come uh -huh. and park right up in the middle part of the park there. Uh -huh. That's where we give the clients the dinner. Uh -huh. So there, we used to have a privilege of seeing some few animals as we, they are taking their dinner. So you find that when they are taking their dinner, the few animals that I've mentioned, like the giraffes, the elephants, mm -hmm. the buffaloes, they'll be going around the train. While well, you are enjoying Wine watching and, and yes. enjoying and everything. Exactly. So, so how after, old is this train? This train is um, reaching almost 100 years of age. Whoa. Because the two engines that I'm going to show you downstairs there, uh -huh. one engine number 156 was made in 1922. 1922? 22, Even yes. before... So after First World War. Exactly. So the other engine, engine number 204, uh -huh. was made in 1924. Okay. So initially the two engines were originally made in England. England? Yes. So and together... While we are still there, sorry to pause you. I see there are different parts. Like the other side it looks... It doesn't matter. Once you pay for this, you sit anywhere you want. Yes. There's nothing like first class, nothing like that. No. Actually where we are here, mm -hmm. I wanted to come to that. This is the lounge. So when see. you board from there, you come inside, mm -hmm. you will find our waiters there on the door side yeah. with some welcoming drinks for you. So on the way, drinks there, we normally put a variety. Red wine, white wine, the champagne, the lagers. I love white wine. And also the soft drinks and juice. <laughs> so once you go there, they will explain to you, you go for what you take. Okay. After picking a glass of something to quench your thirst there, you come and relax here for about four or five minutes. And then After the confirmation to make sure that everyone is booked is on board, then we give the signal to the driver. We start off. So also we normally uh -huh. use up to this side. Can open. We normally open here. Uh -huh. Then we have this provision. What's that? This also is part of the lunch, but we always use this as an observation car. So 
Some of the clients, they can sit here, but we normally leave it open. So since the lounge is not enough for everyone, when we have the full capacity of the train, which is 93, so some, they can even sit here. Mm -hmm. But most of them, they like sitting here. As we go down, so it's course, relaxing. I like it. Yes. Though this one, it's a little bit... Uh, and I can see also the designs you are having there still. You are trying to maintain the history, huh? Exactly. Exactly. So these two coaches, this one and the other one, uh -huh. initially we normally use this in Zimbabwe uh -huh. because we have another steam train in Zimbabwe. Okay. They are they normally Do you work hand least. in hand with the Zimbabwean... Uh, exactly. Because we have another... Is? Yes. We okay. have another office here in Zimbabwe. Okay. Yes. We have uh, here in Africa, we have uh, about four offices. Mm -hmm. We have one here in Zambia, mm -hmm. which is in Livingstone. Yeah. We have one in Botswana. Mm -hmm. We have one in Zimbabwe. Uh -huh. The other one in South Africa. Mm -hmm. so, I can see the even mirrors. Let me check how I look. Yes, you I'm can. I'm okay. <laughs> so I and can then, take you through the to the other side. side. Okay. Just a minute. Thank you. You can pass. Hi, let's go check it out. Come, come, come here. <laughs> Mind your feet. Okay. Mind your stairs here. Okay. We also have this. This is observation cab as well. Also, we normally use this as our smoking zone. <laughs> as you can see, some ash trays. The ash trays and yes. everything. So even those ones who smoke, they are welcome to exactly, come on board. They'll exactly. be able to enjoy. So we don't allow smoking inside. For those who want to have a cigarette, mm -hmm. they come here. So also when we go down the falls, uh -huh. most of the clients they like sitting here, getting the fresh air from outside, even having the pictures along the along way. Along the way. Yes. So you can come with me. Okay. Come, come. Oh. Also the lounge. More of the lounge. The Look lounge. at that. Also, we normally use this as a bar. As a bar. So oh, but then I also say a bar there, so exactly. it doesn't matter both sides. Yes, but initially we also look at the number of people we have on board. If there are not very many, if we don't have a full capacity, we mm -hmm. only use one bar. One. So yes, you remove enough. from there, then you just take one train, or the whole thing the goes? The whole thing goes. Oh, yes. I see, I so see. After can having, I enjoy? Yes, you can, please, you're welcome. <laughs> I look like I'm in the 1925. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. after having dinner from that side, if uh -huh. you don't want to have your beer from there, uh -huh. you can still walk down here and relax and in relax. these comfortable chairs. Always the bar man is here, will be saving you everything that everything. you need. You said dinner. There's a place for dinner here. Yes, you can ah. come around with me. We also have the air cons. They are working oh, effectively. Air cons on. Yes. So, because Livingston is known for being hot. So, yes. uh, people are comfortable. This is the ready carpet we normally use down there. I see even umbrellas in case there is rain. We also have our... Your gentleman. Yes. Uh, rest your feet there. Okay, thank you. Come, 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 come. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the dining. No, I need to do this. Come, 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 come see, come see. This is where we keep our liquor. Look, even the liquor store. <laughs> so this is our first dining. We have two carriageways. Mm -hmm. So this one where we are, it's mm -hmm. called the Wembley. Wembley. This is the Wembley car coach. Okay. So here the Wembley, it caters for 43 people. Okay. The sitting arrangement here is for 43, as 43. you can see. Yeah. To my right, there are four. Mm -hmm. Then you two to my two, left. Two. So if it's a two couple like me and my partner, we come, we can, can take this one. Exactly. You can so choose where to be. So while we are going around. Exactly. Uh, another question. So when we go with the train, because it seems there's a lot going on. Yes. Dinner and everything. So what time does the train leave for us, for it to accommodate us for dinner? Or does it, is it the whole day thing or what exactly? Thank you very much. That one is a whole day. Actually, it's oh. only four hours. We don't take the whole day. Okay. Initially, we start off from here 17 hours. 17. That is Central African time. Uh -huh. So we normally rush first of all to the falls for to the, the bridge, for the sunset. Okay. So as we start off from here 17 hours, uh -huh. we rush to the bridge. We are going to park the train in uh -huh. the middle part of the bridge. Then we close the borders. Of the yes. Zambia, Zambia, so Zambia and the Zimbabwe. And Zimbabwe, sorry. Yes. So as we park the train there in the middle part, then we close the border, some side and Zim side. Uh -huh. We give you time, the clients, to come outside the train. Uh -huh. You'll be walking on the bridge there to have the pictures of the sunset first. Is it that part where they do bungee Bunch jump? Bungee exactly. Ah! That is the position. So even your some of the, your your customers, once you park there, they can do bungee jump if they want. Yeah, but you know, it's not necessary when we're having dinner. Not okay. That is a separate activity. Okay. Yeah, for those who would like to have the bungee jumping, mm -hmm. 
there's that provision they can but make a day. Yes. Okay, nice. But for the dinner specifically, only yes, that. For that. So after the sun has set, uh -huh. that's when we do reverse from the uh, bridge. Uh -huh. There's a point where we normally park in the bush, uh -huh. adjacent to a van hotel. Ah, I've seen a Valley them. Hotel. Yes, that's when we give them the dinner also there. Ah. And the dinner that we serve is a five course meal. Five course meal. That five course meal is going at $199 per person. Per person. Yes, so that $199 is inclusive with the liquor that I've mentioned, like the red wine, the champagne. So I can drink wine. as much as I want in exactly. that amount. Exactly. Hundred so, and ninety nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. US dollars. Yes. Okay. Sure. So. Let's go viewers, come follow us here, we are with Mr. Crispin, he's showing us around about the train and it's so nice, let's see what we can enjoy once we come to Livingston at Bush Track. Okay, and Welcome this one? To the other this, another? Is, this is another dining, mm -hmm. this one is called the Chester, Chester. this is the Chester Field, so the Chester here, it caters for 50 people. 50 people. The sitting arrangement here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Now, this time, the four is to my left, mm -hmm. then the two to my right. So, so here, mm -hmm. meaning the whole capacity, the maximum number that we can accommodate is 93. 93. Yes. So here I see the kind of uh, <laughs> seats that are used. They are quite, you know, different from there. Does the price differ who sits here and where? Or mm -hmm. is just the same? No, it's just the same. First come, first serve. Exactly. So what normally happens is once you book, you do the reservation, we will we'll be able to show you the type of dining that we have, like the Wembley, also here, the Chester. Then you so pick. You, you pick what you want. So if whatever you've picked, it's not available, then you inform to say this one is not available, but we do have this one. Exactly. In but initially, we have not, we have never had that. Ah. But each time you book, you choose yourself to say, no, Where you're going I to want sit. to be in the dining. This one, the Wembley, or I want to be in the Chester. Come see this. We Come also see. have this. This is the coffee machine. Coffee machine. We normally prepare, prepare, prepare coffee for those who want to have and coffee. And I can imagine things going on here. Exactly. So this is where we normally dispatch our foodstuffs. Though, what we normally do, we engage the guys from Royal Livingston Five Star Hotel. Mm. Those are the guys who are providing us for food and beverages. So you work hand in hand also exactly. with the Royal yes. Livingston. So before we, we go, when we have the package, the number of people that we have on board, mm -hmm. then we'll be able to let them know when they bring the food. So red cooked, then we normally use our gas stove from here. From here. Ah. And have a look at that. Come, come, come. We have this gentleman we are going to meet here. You can meet him with my boss, Mr. Okay. Sunday. Mr. Sunday, how are you? I'm right. We this are one enjoying one. your train. Okay, thanks, no, <laughs> this <laughs> man is the one who is working on our engines. Okay. All these engines I'm going to show you downstairs there is the one who is working on them. Okay. When we started with the engine number 156, as I said, uh -huh. he is the one who revived it. Okay. It took him about five years to bring Ooh. it to life <laughs> so finally we have three engines <laughs> thank you so much so the job of the fireman is to make sure that he, he checks on the components to make sure that water is on the required level and also the fire is burning so when he, the fire goes a little bit down mm -hmm. the steam then he, he gets a little bit of shovels of coal there and puts there and, puts and also when he, the water levels in the boiler there it goes a little bit down mm -hmm. to check from there on the gauges mm -hmm. and then he opens the valves inside there mm -hmm, to automatically get the water from so it doesn't yes. have to carry water and no, put like we're in the Titanic <laughs> 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 so, oh, so nice this uh, is, is the uh -huh. so that is the one which helps us when we are developing the fire uh -huh. just like as I said how long do you take to heat it before the train moves that is good what normally happens when we put the fire it uh -huh. takes about four to five hours for the steam to be up Whoa. Yes, so four to five hours, then the steam is up. Meaning, if we are having the actual run like tomorrow, we'll be mm -hmm. running on Friday, so we we'll put fire as early as uh, eight o'clock, nine mm -hmm. o'clock. If we, for example, we put at eight, mm -hmm. I'm sure by 12 hours or mm -hmm. 13 hours, the steam is up. Exactly. Then we'll just maintain the steam until the clans they come at 17 hours, we start with our journey. I think I should join you tomorrow on Friday. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> no, thank you so much, Mr. Crispin, for the tour. We really enjoyed it. Um, for those ones who have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please, you should do that. My name is Abiata Bianca Lesto. There are a little bit of mosquitoes. Don't worry, they don't have malaria, so you can just come to Livingston. 
but take your malaria shot if possible or anything prevention is better than cure mr crispin thank you so much for your help we enjoyed the tour You're i think welcome. we should join them on friday thank you bye bye <laughs>